Welcome to a video where we want to show you a few features of the MBS FileMaker plugin which are new this year. Let's start with our signature field example. This example shows you how to load a signature field into a web viewer and use our JavaScript functions to get the picture into a container field in FileMaker. Let's do it again. Clear clear, write something, save to container. So you define in your scripts when you want to get the picture, so you can maybe show the layout with the signature pad, the user can touch the screen and sign something, and then you can run the script to get the actual signature into a container. And to do that, we use our run JavaScript function, which will ask, which will ask the web viewer to get the data of the canvas we show here as a PNG file and put it into a hidden text area field in the website, which is loaded in the web viewer here. The next step is to actually get the text with the base64 encoded picture, get the data out of it, decode it with the built-in FileMaker functions and show it into a container field. As you see here the web viewer using a data URL to load the HTML for the website and we have all the HTML in one container field. This example works for macOS, Windows and iOS, but you need of course the MBS plugin, so please install the MBS plugin and for iOS you need to use the FileMaker iOS SDK to make your own app, as it will not work in FileMaker Go. Next, I want to show you the barcode example. We recently upgraded our barcode functions to now allow you to pass the specification of the barcode as JSON block. So in this example, we pass a JSON block core, including the symbology. So we want a QR code. We pass in the text and we pass in a scale factor, so our print is sharp. We have a function to format the JSON, so you see it gets color and gets intention. And we have a generate barcode function which creates a barcode, renders it as a picture, stores the picture in a container field and shows it to the user here. We have over 80 types of barcodes including UPC, so we can generate a barcode here. We can specify colors, and this is new to the JSON functions, as our standard functions didn't have a color parameter, and we can even include a border width. So let's generate a barcode here, and if I just change um, the color code, let's say I put in uh, FF, I get a different color. I can get EAN. Barcodes in small and in bigger versions. I can use the rotation parameter to rotate them. I can get um, code 39 and I can just change here the, the JSON as needed. Let's say rotation by 180 degrees. I can format the JSON and I can generate a barcode which is rotated. Then we have here a PDF for 417 barcode and a data matrix barcode, a QR code where we use the option 1 to specify a different ECC level, 
and I can just add here more text and automatically the barcode will get a higher uh, size class but you can also um, specify which class you want and here is a barcode for UPS which we can also generate if you just get the data from UPS to print a barcode yourself. Let's show the script. So we have the JSON formatting script which just calls our JSON format function passing in the JSON getting back the formatted JSON and the colorize functions where you pass in the JSON and you get JSON back as text with styles and then you can show that text in a in a text field and FileMaker will show the format and to generate a barcode we have um, the generate JSON function which gives you a picture number in memory so the picture is a memory at this point we can modify the picture here we can draw it on another picture or just have the plugin output the picture as a PNG and then free the picture from memory and we show it in the container field. Here's another uh, script which is a little bit longer which allows you to create a barcode and if there is no MBS plugin installed on the computer it passes the job via perform script on server to the server and the server can then create the barcode and return it as a JSON text. Here's the script to be run on the server which may also return error that no plugin is installed or just do the generation of the barcode on the server and return it as a JSON object with a picture encoded with base64. And here is a test script which just takes a barcode specification or you just build it with the JSON functions in FileMaker. Then you send it to the create barcode script. This may do the barcode locally or on the server depending on where the plugin is installed. So this script can be called on FileMaker Go and just pass on the job to the server script engine which may have the plugin. Or this may be called from the data API to also create a barcode with the server scripting engine. And then if you get a barcode, we can put it in the field and show it to the user. So I can just um, clear the barcode here on the script and we get a barcode. Let's show you some more. We have a JavaScript evaluate function. For years we had the function to run JavaScript, but now we also can get back the result. So let's say you have a little JavaScript snippet like this here. Just ask the document for its link list and there ask the links. So evaluate and we get this website has 200 links. Next record, let's query the location. So we are currently showing this URL on the website. We can also show an alert on the website by calling the JavaScript alert web function. And as FileMaker implements a delegate to show JavaScript dialogues in uh, FileMaker, we get the hello world here in FileMaker as a dialog box. Next thing is we go on the website, we look for an element by tag name, h1 is uh, the first level of heading. We get the first element, the inner text should be hello, so let's see if here some text changes to hello. As you see, we just modified the website with JavaScript. Works also fine to query the text. So let's say we just want to query it, evaluate, and we get back the hello. Next, we want to use the same technique to get the fourth paragraph of text from the website. Let's evaluate. 
Well, let's see, one, two, let's start with the first one. This is this text. And the second one is this text. So if you need to read any information from your website, you can just use our JavaScript evaluate function to show you now. So you call web view evaluate, you specify which web viewer by either the name of the layout object or by a reference number. You pass in the JavaScript to execute. We will execute it. We will wait for it to be finished and then we will return you the result of the JavaScript right away on Mac, on Windows and on iOS. There's no need to trigger the URL with FMP as we can just return you the result right away. For our Mac users in the script workspace, you know we have um, search and we have plus minus and we have copy options. We also got a new option to change the font. So in the script workspace, you can have a different font. Let's just pick something. What could we do? Let's say we want to see everything in shock. Let's say 15 is a nice size. You see, I start FileMaker. Let's just to start FileMaker. And now go to the script workspace. And you see your script workspace looks a little, little bit different. Let's go to the calculate result field and you see you can here type your text in a different font. Also your script steps can be in a different font. Let's say set variable if and pick whatever script font you want. The MBS plugin will try to apply to as many script steps as possible. Um, this can be a great help to choose a larger font, but also to change a font which is better readable. So there is a new cool font made for programmers, which is called JetBrains Mono. Let's apply it, restart. And when we go back to the script workspace, we see this uh, font and this font has a few nice things. For example, if you have a minus and you have a uh, bigger than, those get combined to a nice L if you type them together and there are a couple other combinations also it's monospaced so if you have different um, lines you can easily align things vertically and horizontally so and after this the people using windows are probably waiting to see something so let's switch and let's just try our JavaScript example and maybe also let's try the barcode one. So wait for FileMaker to launch. This may take a while, there it is. So we go back to the first record. We have our web viewer with the MBS website loaded. We can clear the result and just say evaluate and you see the Windows version now has even more links. Okay, let's run the alert. So there's a message from the website, hello world. And if you query the text, you can get the inner text. And let's say we say this is on Windows. So let's put Windows in there. Evaluate and you see we also changed this on the Windows web viewer. Uh, let's just open on the desktop the next example. Let's say we take the barcode generation. Uh, I think we have a clear command here, so we can just generate all the barcodes on Windows as well as on Mac. And this would even work with PerformScript on Server and FileMaker Go or 
with perform script on server from the data API or just with an iOS SDK application you could run it on the iOS device directly. Let's take another example, load URL. Oh, before I show you the nice new thing, let's just load the website with the normal loading. So let's take out the user agent here. Just say we load what's my browser website. Save on the script and we are using Internet Explorer 11 on Windows 8. Okay, well, this is Windows 10, but who cares? So, when we load an URL with our web view post URL function, we can include additional data. So, in this example, we include the text hello world as post content. This could be the text for a form field or several form fields when you automate some um, web form and you can additionally pass some headers. So let's say we pass here the my header, uh, not the header test with a very my header. Also we pass a user agent which claims that we are running Safari. So let's load our Echo website and here you see uh, we see the post data and we see the additional header here. And now let's load the What's My Browser again with the additional header. And you see this website now claims we are Safari 13 on macOS, even as we are running Windows. So if you have a website which doesn't let you in to load the website from the web viewer in FileMaker, you can use our plugin function to Tell the website that you are actually some other browser like Safari or Firefox. The website might still work, but you may skip any dialogue telling you to upgrade your browser. And the final example I want to show you here is a Windows Movie Player. So we can pick a file on the desktop and play it. On the layout, we can switch records, the video continues to play, we can go to the edit layout mode, we can even go back and we can uh, pause the video, we can jump forward in the video and the video continues to play even if you do something in FileMaker like by clicking from layer to layout and you can use the same functions to play audio in the background if you want but you still need to have the file somewhere so if you have the file in a container you may want to export it first to a temp folder so that's all for today and I hope you enjoy those examples just download the MBS FileMaker plugin Check them out. We include them all with the download. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you for watching.